guys, welcome back to Let's Play More Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Uh, we're gonna continue to search for the murderer. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, "'Tis all your fault, dirty bitch! Human dishrag!" And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. But maybe he was in love with her? Know where I can find her, this dishrag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Mm, okay. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Okay. Dookie. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. What about this pyre here? Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Citizen's sermon. That fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm with its flames. Fire can prepare our, our nourishment. Fire can drive off the horrors of the dark. Yeah, fire can also scorch, burn, and incinerate. That is why we must live in harmony with eternal fire and its commandments. Look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm -hmm. The women, especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitale. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that would crush her back. Whittle them down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. <laughs> and sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple, and the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Mm. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. That must be another one. Uh, so it looks like. Murderer dragged something mm -hmm. heavy. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. Or dragged it from one corpse to the other. Repeatedly. Mm. Lock. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since. since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Nothing interesting. They could have been his eyes. Hi. Hmm. Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered, then tortured for a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard, then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? 
Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Fine, we've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Okay, now we have to go to the alley. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Okay. Arr! Let's have a look at the uh, uh, alleyway here first. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Human. Priscilla's. Grab him! A brazier. That is. This time of year. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. That's it, you're in for it. Oh, okay. Think you'll gut me too, huh? Up your ass, Deviant! Holes can fight back! Ugh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up pouring, pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Hmm. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. <laughs> oh, there was something here. Uh, another sermon. Hmm. Hmm. Man, I thought there'd be something else. Awful pile. Oh, you scared. Man's footprint. The murderers, maybe. Wait on his heel. Took a step back. Okay. Now we have to go back to the corner. After take more of this stuff. Yeah. We're so close to solving it. Uh, I just know. What the heck is this? Another sermon. Hmm. Welcome, Master Witcher. 
Seems like it's uh, starting to rain out. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the ribcage and... What's this? A parchment. Made of human skin. A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Hmm. Forget who we went to the stables with. gonna have to find a fast travel cuz uh, yeah the state's far away right it doesn't seem like the mod is doing too much to impact the performance so that's good it's just a mod to like touch up um, the graphics from what I've seen. Of course, I don't even know. I think it's installed. Who knows? Let me in. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We've been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, but had not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books in Signia's reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Uh. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine, but wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh! He... he ran up 
the other door! Catch him! Oh, it's locked. Gotta get him. Don't care about no dogs. Spread out! Murder is still here! There he is! Get him! Nope. No! Jerks. Get out of the way. Oh, come on. Okay, good. Halt! Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery. Taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. I wonder if there's a way to catch him. You got him, Lady Ingrid. It wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Is there anything else in here? Uh, another sermon. Uh... Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Gotta get to crippled Kate's fast. Candy. Okay. Let's go. I don't remember where Crippled Kate's is. Pretty sure we've been there before, though. Okay. I get there. Oh, well, yeah, no. Yeah, I better stop it here. So, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Guys, be safe, Frosty. See you later. Bye.